His book, Tariq al Azmina, the patriarch uh, Istvan Dwayi, he says, or he writes, on Sunday, November 25th, the year 1630 at 3 a.m., a huge earthquake hit the castle and demolished the center tower from its four corners. This Sunday morning, the plan is to, to go to the Citadel in uh, Iblos, not the one on the port that everybody goes to, but uh, the one in Smarjbel, which was built uh, 555 before Christ. And after that, we're going to uh, Orchid Beach Resort. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood. So the citadel we're at uh, was built by the Phoenicians before it was handed over to Alexander the Great to build on a limestone. Yeah. So that they can go up. It's the same uh, concept of the Messiah Half Fort. But there's a huge limestone. You mean the the rock? Yeah, this big rock, and then they build their thing on it. Yeah. So there's this huge rock that's the base of the uh, or the foundation, let's say, right? So you can see if anyone's coming, they would have the upper hand. Yeah. Lots of uh, lizards though on the walls. Oh my god. Anyone inside anything inside? No. Hello Alexander. <laughs> Look at the beauty. So there was a huge tower which the earthquake uh, demolished. Or maybe there was a, yeah, like a, they used to put a rod from here to here. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Here we get to the living room and then you can go up to the bedrooms. Where's the well on oh, here? It's good. Be yeah. A well. Yeah, they say there are many wells. So this citadel I'm at, I never heard of before uh, yesterday. Before last week. Don't come here. Actually, all historians agree that the citadel we're at was built by the Phoenicians and uh, controlled by the Persians, Persian Empire, 555 years before Christ. Anything living here? Uh, <laughs> I think these are well. Yeah. This is what I saw from the top that I filmed just now. Yeah. This was like a... What? They fixed it. This was it. Yeah. So why this cross is up there? I think because the Maronites and their allies used to hide here. They took refuge in this place 
during the uh, Middle Ages. I'm sweating like crazy. Beautiful though, I like it actually. Yeah. So sad that. Look at this tree, it's like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't know why it's going that way. Because. Um, I'll... The wind? Yesterday was going to be the last day we, uh, where, where we kissed the summer goodbye at Manaya Beach but it seems like today is even hotter than yesterday that's why we came back to Orchid Beach Resort Yes, Oh god October schools have started so but it's still cool the weather is still hot it's like 31 degrees today yeah lunch is here <laughs> we ordered two club sandwiches let's dig in 
and of course I don't like shooting myself eating like other vloggers do that's so not me This is slightly cool. Yeah. Cool. This is our Airbnb, which I like actually. Busy, busy Sunday evening streets of Batroon. As you can see, <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> to see the bride. There's a wedding here. Tuk -tuk -tuk -tuk. So it seems like tourism is still uh, Tourism is still peaking. It's packed today. Yeah. More packed than uh, the past two days. Yeah. Do you want a uh, lemonade from uh, that good Naji? It's over there. Up there. So the plan is to have lemonade, not at Helmi's today, but at Naji's lemonade. Because why is why is Helmi's like it's I don't yeah. know. Let's give another local place uh, some ask. attention or some uh, some love. The smallest one. So there are many places with lemonade in uh, that room, but people usually go to Hilmi's only. So that's why we decided today to uh, give this place a shot. نعم نعم
هناك مش كثير سكر اه عن حلميس اكثر سكر اه برافو وين تجيب لي منيطه؟ حمضه 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 اللي عندنا هون بس تاريخته وغيره صيدا بيجيبوه كله كل موطن معركه ايه انه كذا يوم وبعدين لما تبزني يمكن في اسبوع بيكتبوا له المي ليعمل اه بقلب الموسم كل يوم بعمل كم طبعية مش مش كل يوم بعمل كل يوم بقلل الموسم كيف كان الموسم؟ كيف كان الموسم؟ جد جد بعده هلا هلا امتى عم بيكونوا جمعة سبت احد سبت جمعة خفيفة سبت احد سبت احد عم بيكون مثل هيك عم بتخاف كانوا هيك؟ Thank you so much. See you. Bye. So what I can say why helmet? Yeah. Let's uh, let's call it the power of branding. And uh, yeah, they have very good branding. They've done very good communication. They have the best product. I mean. This is as good, really. But there's no branding on the uh, yeah. on the plastic coat. Like he barely has this small yeah. paper written on it. Yeah. And he was sitting inside with his wife, so I'd rather, you know. But it was more of a market than a uh, yeah a lemonade place. So you want to get a brioche for later? Uh, yeah. That's it? You got them? Yeah. Oh, that was fast. Great. So what you get? Chocolate. Chocolate. For 90,000. You didn't have 10,000. <laughs> uh, tell us what's brioche again. Brioche is a buttery dough. And apparently Rahbani and Coco are very well known for their brioche. They do their dough in the morning, they bake it early afternoon, by six, it's all gone. At a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication.